Let's give Stella something sweet to calm her down. Um, sweet. That sounds good. That's happy. That's also happy. That's kind of nice, too. It's not happy. Let's not go with that. Oh, not happy. There we go. Uh, let's go that sounds pretty good, actually. You know what, I'm gonna go with, uh, Sparkle Star. And let's go with a little bit of alcohol in there. Aged mix. Here. Thanks. Seems you really like say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So, say's more than a friend to me. She's, she's. Sorry, I brought up the, I brought that talk topic up at a bad time. <laughs> Don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks every race, of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vet all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and you can use some. Oh, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take a break. Sure, leave it to me. Don't fuck this up, Gil. We calmed her down a little bit. No, it's not great. It won't be great. But, at the very least, you know, she's doing alright. She's not, uh, you know, crying and throwing a tantrum and falling apart, thank god. Not yet, at least. So just keep her calm. God damn, it's chilly outside. I'm... But, eh? What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Well, let's see. Detective guy comes in, Cat Boomer Girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Saibatsu Corp's off and After that, the guy got riled up and started bad-mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was a normal conversation. I see. Well, I don't deny that Batsu Corp is, Corp is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by shiny new chain on around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? I mean, sure they don't care about you and obviously big corporations won't, but they are necessary to, you know enhance and move towards the future, in a way. It, uh, I don't know, it's, 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 in a, in a way, it's a necessary evil, you know? It's just gotta, it's just how they progress. You know, they need that structural, they need to be these big corporations to get done, you know, and effectively be able to create new things and, you know, invent new things and the 
byproduct of being such a big corporation is just not caring for other people, you know, using them as guinea pigs, I guess, as they said there. It's just how it is, unfortunately. Which is one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know, and true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI inter integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits in recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's little in prison. AI went rogue, transferred to the delivery drone, or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point, although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about the 88% success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. Zaibatsu Corp's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. The gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Zaibatsu Corp's main medical research branch has also made lots of discoveries. And this is one of the main important ones, is like big medical discoveries. This is, uh, you know, advancing our med the medicines to you know, take care of more diseases and learning new things. Which is, uh, you know, one of the main, you know, benefits of advancing technology. More and more illness previously thought incurable are being addressed every day. It's amazing, for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine so shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All the companies coming down need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. That is impressive, honestly. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey you, don't just sit there. Give me a Zen Star. Sure. <laughs> Let's make a Zen Star for the sore baby. Yeah, he uh, he lost that pretty bad. Are we making two drinks? Let me uh, wait, by name Zen Star. Yeah, it's four of each ingredient. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's just that. On the rocks and next. Now, do I want to? Okay, I can't make one for her. She doesn't want one. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, they're still just a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature. Whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses were are accounted for. They only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. You want anything? Me? Um, just get me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. On it. 
All right, we're getting some bad touches out. Two bad touches. Coming right up. Hard to mistake this one. And so I remember this one party I went to. The guy came up to me with the name of the string wait, the guy that came up with the name of the string showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Uh, are you okay, Joe? I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. Now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Von Delay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for a Crimson Rose and she just... Uh, and she happened to be at the top... At the, um, what? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about was, say, is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back in general that she has no problems getting people on her side. And, on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well, I would saw her take care of a war bot gun haywire by herself. She did need medical help afterward. But she recovered in no time, and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about that. She's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And, like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. I just hope she's well wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. You want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get him his order. Sure. He wants a piano man. That's the whole thing. Yeah, there we go. And mixed. Nothing for her, huh? Here. So, this is what you're drinking. This is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. Uh, you've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Say's situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I get distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is... soothing. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. Alright then. That would be all, Dana. Quite a mess. The situation with, um, Robert. Ryan, you have a meeting in an hour. You have a meeting in an hour with MI6 Hall C. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Ryan, fancy me meeting you here. I didn't expect you to see to see you here of all places. Okay, so she is well known. Wow. Yeah. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Uh, sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. We'll do. Just random, random person telling him he needs to leave. He's like, nah, I got time. Don't worry about it. Um, this holophone is an old model, so hanging it, hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, I was about to say this is awkward. We're just sitting here. Uh, I'm, I'm Jill. I say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone, and wouldn't you say it's more interesting that way? And it finally hung up. 
Ooh, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I have... Please... Arrived yet again at the... Oh, oh god. At the Majestic Hall of Heroes. Calm until now. Oh no. We meet again, bartender. You look wounded, Vir <laughs> Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. Virgilio. Oh, I got you, yeah. Virgilio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing. Society imposes on letters. They want us to be free. They want us. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look wounded, Virgilio. We are little, all little toys wounded by the cruel hands of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wound us anymore. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. <laughs> Oof. Oh, damn. That's, um, I was, uh, it's jogging. Jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, yes you can. That, honestly, that's my exact response. Yes, yes you can. I don't care. It still doesn't change the fact that jogging and that is stupid. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Something fake. Wait a minute. Hold up. I... I think I know this one. It would be a promo drink, right? Or, I remember something. Alright, after looking around for a minute, I think this is the one I want to go for, actually. Uh... Grizzly Temple, what's it say? It says, mostly used for fans to move. It basically, it's just shitty. But, uh, Frothy Water, that's uh, fake beer, basically. No alcohol in it. But it looks like beer. So that would make sense. That's, uh. But yeah, this says no alcohol. The Grizzly Temple has alcohol, obviously, so. But this, yeah, this makes more sense, honestly. This isn't pushing it. So. Yeah, and it says P their PG rated shows. Favorite beer, uh, Airsods since 2040. Let's see, one of each of those. And aged and mixed. Probably tastes disgusting. Honestly. I would not want to drink that. Here. And this is? Uh, totally not beer. Yeah, so I, I was right. Ah, uh, yes. Just as fake as I wanted. Say, Virgilia, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. That sounds fucking badass. I love Steampunk, so... I mean, god. It's- it's- I- I feel like it's hard to meet somebody who doesn't like Steampunk, at least I haven't. Like, Steampunk generally is just really cool, so... It's not a big deal to say you- you know, it's nothing crazy to say, Oh yeah, I love Steampunk, but... Just Steampunk stuff is awesome in general. What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me, stop touching the exhibits, you're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Huh? <laughs> he still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the only one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah... I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. He wants purity? You can't give him pure ingredients, so... What do I got? Uh... Purity. It's just four of everything, right? That would be like... I mean, it doesn't taste good, but just four of everything on the rocks mixed, right? It sounds right. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? 
can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think. No, no, no. We haven't met ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Da, 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 uh, shit. Alright, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Yeah, there's uh, weirdos like this guy next to you out there. Thanks? Huh? Uh, excuse me, have we met somewhere before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um, okay. Did you just scare off a client? Uh, apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Are we done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh, shit. That Virgilio guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gil stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to, uh, explain the situation with, uh, Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for new employee. The new employee? New employee? Why are you getting a new employee? Aren't you closing soon? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Y yeah. It must be nothing. Who the fuck is coming to work at the bar? Brian told me to give you this. Well, thanks, Brian. While the service, nice. Got some tips. Mmm, 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 mmm. Looking pretty good. We are just above 9,000. We did it. Jill is a bit tense. Buying a shoulder massager will prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. Okay, well, let's go by that real quick. You want me to work? Sure. Do -do -do -do. What the hell is it? Shoulder massager. There we go. And return. And I still have enough to pay my bill. That's the important part. You know? I mean, I'm not I'm not one for usually living bill to bill, but you know, at least, you know, we'll we have like five hundred on top. That's enough for a couple beers, especially because you get some on discount. And that'll take care of her, you know. So go about what she wanted. She's pleased with herself. She'll surely focus at work. Surely. And I gotta make sure to check everything, because for some reason, Danger you had some new stuff, but it didn't tell me. So, I'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, for I need some me time. Use the bathroom. Yeah, that's true. That's the only escape you're getting. And, you know, a lot of animals don't care anyway. They'll still force their way in, unfortunately. Well, that was actually a short day compared to what we've had recently, so... Uh, still, great, yeah. You know, Gil is, uh, got some interesting stuff going on. Especially, I wonder how he knows Virgilio. That's a kind of weird connection there. And then apparently, that's all connected with, uh, Hoshi too, Stella. At least, seems like it is. Because he mentioned something about her eye, and seemed like he knew her as well, so I wonder if all three of them are connected somewhere. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll have to see who the new employee is next time. That's exciting. I, uh, don't know who it's gonna be. That's gonna be weird. It's still weird. Why would you hire someone right as you're gonna close? Like, or isn't the bar gone in a couple months? I would definitely wouldn't want to be hired by a place that's closing. I'd put it that way. I guess, I guess if it's just part-time, it's not that bad, but still. 